Hi, welcome to the Table Widget Tutorial Part 3. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to display images in a table using widgets. In this project, the following table is displayed as defined in Parts 1 and 2 of this tutorial. Our goal here is to add a third column that displays various images depending on the temperature. To define a third column, we'll drag and drop the Table Item Image List widget into the Table widget. This widget can be used to display images. The images shown here should be used in the HMI application. These images must be specified on the image list property of the widget. Next, we'll use the image prefix property to enter the path for the images. The images are found in the media package in the table pictures folder. The path to enter is therefore media slash table pictures slash. A variable has been added in the program's init subroutine to determine which image should be displayed. The variable temperature image has been added in the program. The necessary information is already contained in the array. It's important to enable the variable as an OPC UA node so that it can be specified in the widget. Now, the variable shown before is specified on the property selected index. This property defines which images are displayed in the table cells. We will select the numeric array temperature image. If temperature image at position 0 is equal to 1, for example, then the image at index 1 of property image list is displayed in the first cell. The next step is to define the text in the header. This is done using the property text. After the changes have been downloaded onto the controller, the HMI application can be opened in the web browser. Here's the table with the third column that we defined in the map view editor. As you can see, it's very easy to display images in a table using map view. Thanks for watching.